video will present irrefutable and scientific proof that will establish beyond any reasonable doubt that Michelle Obama is in fact a man who prefers to present himself and who prefers to dress up as a woman. This video will prove that the person commonly referred to as the first lady of the United States may be the first queen at best, but he most certainly is not a lady. Let's find out why. This video will examine the following. It will examine Michelle's male hands, male shoulders, male torso, male genitalia, and overall male proportions. It will also look at how a carefully designed wardrobe, a wide hairdo, a persistent facially distorting smile, and carefully selected press photos have all succeeded in suppressing the revelation of Michelle's undeniable male physical form. While this information is controversial and shocking to say the least, it is being shared because it is the truth. It is being presented so that people can stop living the lie that is being dished out by the U.S. government and the mainstream media. Many people are unfamiliar with the more subtle physical differences that can be found between men and women. While Michelle Obama works very hard to distort the more obvious differences, he fails miserably at hiding them all. Let's take a close look at some of the male traits that he has failed to conceal. We will begin by looking at the hands. The scientific community has known for a long time that a man's ring finger is typically longer than the man's index finger. Here are two clear pictures that illustrate the differences in ring finger proportions on male and female hands. Notice how the man's ring finger is visibly longer than his index finger. While it is not uncommon for a woman to have the ring finger and index finger at very similar lengths, it is almost unheard of for a woman to have a visibly longer ring finger. See for yourself by looking at both of your hands. Relax your hands. Put them flat on a table. Pull the fingers together and notice the length of your ring finger. Now compare it to the length of your index finger. Your hands will now testify against Michelle Obama every time you look at them. If we look at this x-ray of a man's hands, we can see how the bone structure of the ring finger is visibly longer than that of the index finger. If we look at an x-ray of a woman's hand, we can easily see that the tip of the ring finger appears to be slightly shorter than the index finger. In this photo of Barack and Michelle's right hands, even at a distance, Michelle's ring finger is noticeably longer than the index finger. In fact, the ring finger is so long that when we compare it with the one on the man next to him, it is easy to see that the male trait of prominent ring finger length is even more pronounced in Michelle. Here we see a person holding up their hand. By the ring finger length, it is safe to conclude that he is a man. Here we see someone whose ring finger length clearly shows that she was born a female. But in this photo, wait a minute, Houston, we have a problem. The ring finger is noticeably longer than the index finger, proving that Serena Williams, the famous tennis player, was in fact born a male. Both the shoulders and flamboyant behavior are quite telling as well. Here is a good photo of Michelle's hands. The ring fingers are both visibly longer than the index fingers. Once again, we have a clear view of the hands. It is undeniable those are the hands that emerged from the womb on a male child. 
Now that we have established that Michelle has the hands of a man, let's look at Michelle's shoulders. The shoulders are surrounded by bulging muscles that appear to be very masculine. Notice how the carefully tailored clothing hides the neck muscles. Let's find out why. Both the neck muscles and the bulging shoulders look like they belong on a man. In this photo, the hair and the clothing both serve to camouflage the neck muscles. Michelle's face may appear quite feminine to the undiscerning eye, but after taking a closer look, isn't it amazing what the very best makeup artists and hairstylists can do to any person who has enough money? And to help add to the illusion, Michelle often slouches forward. This is done to make the shoulders appear smaller, but the masculine shoulders remain. Wild hair and dangling earrings can pull the eye away from the shoulders, but once you have spotted them, they just don't seem to go away. To make matters worse, men have more prominent brow features than women. As you can see, Michelle's eyebrows are generally painted on in such a way that they wrap around the male skull bone that protrudes out at the eyebrows. Close-up images of the eyebrows reveal a tremendous effort at wrapping the paint all the way around this very prominent male facial feature. Once again, the painted eyebrows do not match the size of the brow bone. Now, what most people do not know about human anatomy is that the body is naturally proportioned based on the ratio between overall body height and the size of a person's head. In this illustration, you can see how perfectly proportioned a typical human body of each gender is. This illustration also reveals a description of how the shoulders are measured. On a woman's body, the shoulder width is typically equivalent of two and a half times the width of her head. Here we have an example of a healthy woman. As you can clearly see, her shoulders are about two and a half times the width of her head. A man's shoulders are typically the equivalent of three times the width of his head. In this illustration, it is easy to see that this person is in fact a man based on the width of his shoulders in relation to the width of his head. And here we have an image of an extremely athletic man whose gender is confirmed by the width of his shoulders in relation to the width of his head. Now, if we take an objective look at Michelle, we see that the shoulder width is not compatible with the shoulders of a woman in relation to the size of the head. The dress, the pearls, the fancy hairdo and makeup can redirect the observer's attention away from the proportions, but all the illusions cannot make the physical reality that Michelle is a man go away. Now let's take a closer look at Michelle's body proportions. Notice in this illustration that the height of a typical healthy man is roughly eight times the height of his head. The height of a typical healthy woman is roughly seven times the height of her head. This illustration reveals that Michelle stands at eight heads tall. At this point in human history, there is no amount of surgery that can change his body proportions. His overall height is exactly eight times the height of his head, proving that Michelle cannot possibly be a woman. The jacket was carefully chosen to diminish the manly appearance of the shoulders. Notice how there is a wide gap at the waist to create an optical illusion that the hips are wider than the shoulders. Michelle is also wearing flat shoes. He does not tend to wear high heels because if he did, while standing at 5 feet 11 inches tall, he would tower over almost all of the women as well as most of the men who are standing nearby. 
Here we can see Michelle standing next to a woman. Notice how the woman's shoulders on the far left are no match for Michelle's man shoulders. There are many tricks of the eye going on in those dresses. Someone has added a few pounds of necklaces to downplay the bulging shoulder muscles. It is easy to see how Michelle arches his shoulders forward to help with the illusion just a little bit more. This illustration reveals how the hip and shoulder proportions are naturally different between men and women. While men's hips are smaller than their shoulders, a woman's proportions tend to be the opposite. I am not able to show you an image of Michelle at the beach. However, when Serena Williams appears on a beach walking next to an actual woman, it is quite easy to see the physical differences between the body structure of a man and a woman. Even when a man has breasts that are formed by hormone replacement therapy, the hip bones remain much narrower than the shoulders. It is interesting to note that Serena's thin upper body and heavier lower torso are almost identical to Michelle's. So how then is it possible for Michelle to pose next to a man and appear to have female body proportions? Simply by turning the shoulders away from the camera, the shoulders appear to be narrower. Notice the difference when the shoulders are square to the camera. In this photo, we can see Michelle turning the shoulders away from the camera, and then simply by bending the wrist while relaxing the biceps, the upper arms appear to be more feminine. But look at what happens when the shoulders are square to the camera and the man arms are plain to see. The wild hair and stacked up jewelry can only do so much to distract you from the uncomfortable truth. The biceps are fully flexed because they are now carefully concealed under a custom tailored jacket with exaggerated shoulder pads that make the arms appear smaller. It is quite an effective illusion. But when Michelle is put next to a real woman, the male features simply jump out of the photo. In order to trick the eye into perceiving the illusion of wider hips, Michelle typically wears dresses that are tight above the upper waist but then flare out at the hips. In this image, we can see why Michelle will most likely avoid a simple V-neck in the future. A square front view reveals the broad shoulders and the neck muscles, but the super wide hairstyle creates the illusion of smaller shoulders and the stacked up jewelry steers the eye away from those massive neck muscles. But in this image, there is a convincing first impression that these two people are both women. And so, how do they present the illusion that they are both female? It is really quite simple. The woman wears a loose shirt and tight pants, while Michelle wears a tight shirt and loose pants. Add a few feminine externals and there you have your illusion. In this image, it is quite easy to see just how large Michelle's shoulders and neck muscles are, especially when compared with the ones Barack has hidden under his suit jacket with the padded and extended shoulders. The bulging muscles under the big hair were perhaps the inspiration for this image that has been circulating on the web. So apparently, I'm not the only person who knows that Michelle is a man, and a very strong man at that, I might add. You will not find many pictures like this one because when Michelle frowns, the fact that he is a man frowning becomes very plain to see. And when Michelle drops the charade, the feminine false externals drop like a lead balloon. My, what a very feminine and slender neck you have. I wish I had one like that. The manly features often stand out like a sore thumb when the guard is let down and the photo is unexpected. 
Let's not forget the Adam's apple. What most people don't know is that the appearance of the Adam's apple can be diminished through surgery, but it cannot be fully removed. In this image, you can clearly see Michelle's Adam's apple. Once again, Michelle's Adam's apple is not too difficult to spot. The Adam's apple stands out in this earlier photo as well. Notice the bulging neck muscles and heavy man brows, even on the wedding day. Speaking of the wedding day, you must be wondering what happened to Michelle's male genitalia. There are certain undergarments that some people wear in order to hide their male genitalia. It is similar to a sports cup that men wear while playing contact sports. In this photo, you can see a surprising bulge that appears to be Michelle's special cup. This wardrobe malfunction was revealed by the wind that was blowing against him, revealing the contour of his form. But that's not the only wardrobe malfunction. In this picture, the lighting cast the most unfeminine shadows on Michelle's manhood. This photo begs the question, how could the audience not notice? In this earlier wedding photo, Michelle's body proportions are a close match to Barack's. Years of hormone replacement therapy may provide a touch of extra fat in certain areas or a more feminine looking skin tone or change the voice a bit, but there is no amount of hormones or feminine gestures that will change the skeletal proportions of a man. Michelle's body structure cannot possibly be that of a woman. Even Barack's heavily padded shoulders and the silhouette of a feminine mirror cannot hide the fact that Michelle's shoulders are those of a man. Poofy dresses and big hair help to maintain the illusion of being a woman. But there are some things that simply cannot be hidden, like that protruding man finger. However, in this image, Michelle's man finger isn't the only issue. The biceps and triceps are disproportionately large, and while the dress pulls the eye downwards, it still can't shrink those shoulders. Even the children who accompany Barack and Michelle play a part in the illusion, because who would have suspected that the two girls might have been adopted? Perhaps someone should tell them that similar facial expressions cannot change the genetic evidence, but it sure is nice to see some truly feminine shoulders on the daughters. Have you figured it out yet? Are you ready for your reality check? Brace yourself. Here it is. The United States of America does not have a first lady, but rather, the United States of America has its very first queen, its first drag queen, that is. Michelle has the hands of a man. Michelle has the shoulders of a man. Michelle has the physical proportions of a man. Michelle has a male anatomy. Hormone replacement therapy and surgical treatments cannot change the fact that every cell in Michelle's body is stamped and sealed with male chromosomes. As a woman, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind as I proclaim it from the rooftops that Michelle Obama is most certainly not a lady. I am a real woman. I have gone through school and earned a degree in criminal justice. I have learned a lot about people and why they do the things they do. While studying for my degree, I took many classes on forensic psychology. I also studied the basics of forensics and investigative skills. Throughout my travels, I have had many encounters with transgenders and transsexuals. And so, with all this background knowledge and experience, it is with great confidence that I now proclaim, Michelle Obama has deceived the nations. I have absolutely no doubt that Michelle Obama is in fact a man. And now, a word from my husband.
As my wife and I were working on this video, we thought about all the American soldiers who are risking their lives overseas to fight illegal wars based on the whims of their commander and chief. How is it that so many people in the military are prepared to go to their death so that the president can feel safe and secure in his White House? As he cuddles up every night to his male friend who prefers to dress up as a woman and deceive everyone from behind that big smile. Many people in previous generations have laid down their lives for a noble cause. But frankly, we are quite baffled at this current point in American history and at what has become of what once was a great nation. I am speaking as one who not only has a military background, but I am also a retired law enforcement officer. The first seven and a half years of my career were spent as a police officer in Trinidad, Colorado, a place that was well known as the sex change capital of the world. While I was on patrol there, it was not uncommon to encounter people who had traveled there to seek gender reassignment surgery. I can clearly see that Michelle is a man, and I hope that you can now tell the difference as well. Time will tell how the truths that have been revealed in this video will transform America. But one thing is for certain, like it or not, Michelle Obama is now out of the closet. The production of this video would have been impossible without the help of the two witnesses. If you enjoyed this video and are not afraid of learning more shocking truths about the current realities in which we are now all living, visit testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com. But you had better fasten your seatbelt because hearing the truth is not always comfortable. You, referring to a man, shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. A woman shall not wear anything that pertains to a man, nor shall a man put on a woman's garment. For whoever does these things, is an abomination to the Lord your God. You wanted an abomination? You got it! But now a double woe has come to America. Behold your queen, the queen of Sodom. Behold your queen, the queen of Sodom. Queen of Sodom.